But we're coming back. I mean, not necessarily to the way things used to be, but we're we're in a good place. Uh, I'm I'm glad that someone is. Yeah, well, Zach is willing to work on our problems, just not in Pine Valley. He seems to think that I'm going to lose focus and get wrapped up in all the drama. Kind of hard not to. Yeah, I mean, Zach doesn't understand that. I, mean, I get wrapped up because this is my home. This is not some phase I'm going through. I'm connected to people here forever. How did Zach feel about you coming back for Ryan? Ryan is Spike's dad. And... Zach adores Spike. That's not exactly a yes. Was Zach crazy about me coming back here? No. But I needed to be here. Okay, enough of this. Come on, now. Just, I want to see how my little sister is saving my company. Show me around. <laughs> oh, right this way. Okay. okay. What's going on back there? the office. Uh, I know it's taking care What's of it. What's going on back there? I put some new decorations. It's a nice little doodle back there. Thank <laughs> you. I like that. How could you do this to I me? I had no choice. No choice? I thought you were dying. This is the only way that I could get you to tell me what was going on with David, okay? Do you have any idea how much you scared me? The thoughts that were going through my head. I am so angry at you. I'm so glad you're all right. I didn't mean to freak you out. Yes, you did. Well, I did. But it's only because I know you, Greenlee. I, I know you. And I could see there was something going on, and you wouldn't confide in me. How could I ask you to get involved in my mess of a marriage when you were against it from the start? And then the way things stand between us. I told you that I would help you no matter what. I know. I know, and I almost did tell you everything, but I was scared of what David would do to you. And then you were in and out of the hospital. Well, as you can see, I'm fine. Now tell me. Tell me what David is doing, using to blackmail you with. Just tell me. I can't tell you. Greenlee, I know the last thing you want is for me to ride to the rescue here, but I also know how scared you were. I, I could hear it when you came to see me. So you're looking for somebody to help you. You're looking for somebody to trust. You know that I'm that person. David told me if I left him that he'd send me to prison. He manufactured evidence to make it look like I'm the one that brought down Erica's plane. I didn't, I swear. But he's ready to frame me for attempted murder. That bastard. He's jealous. He's always been jealous. But I had no idea he'd go this far. You're desperate, just like I was. And it is that very desperation that's gonna drive Greenlee away. <sighs> she just needs a little more time, no. that's all. No, I waited. I waited for Tad, I waited for Colby to come around. They never did, and they never will. Listen, you can love them with everything that you are, but you can't make them love you back. It's just not the way it works. Oh, yes, it does work that way, Liza. <sighs> Do you think I enjoy threatening my wife? Oh, come on, is that a trick question? I hate this. I hate that that Greenlee forced me to do this, or that Ryan won't let her go, even though he's clearly not right for her. But most of all, I hate myself, but I will not lose my wife. You already have. You crossed the line, there's no going back. I found her on the side of a river. She was unconscious, she was freezing, barely alive. I brought her back to life. Have you ever saved a life? Have you ever looked into the eyes of a person after you brought them back from the brink of death? I'm telling you, as a friend, you can't build a marriage off of gratitude. It is so much more than that, Liza. So much more. Greenlee knew what she was getting into when she married me. She knew how I loved it was all made very clear to her, and she signed on for all of it. There's no way in hell she's signing off now. Let's be honest here. The reason I was suspended, the only reason I was suspended was David Hayward. 
And you won't let me back on the force unless I agree to stop hounding him. You were suspended because you broke rules. You used your position and a great deal of taxpayer money to advance some personal agenda. I mean a mistake that will never happen again. Okay, so you admit you abused your power as chief. Yes. So, if I were to reinstate you, I'd have your word that this issue won't come up, that, that, that from now on you'll dedicate yourself and the resources of this department to legitimate police work. Well, that's what I do best. If you're willing to take that pledge and you're willing to reform your behavior, I'll think about it. I'll let you know. Thank you, Mayor. Well, that was hard. Oh, what a hypocrite. So, so proud of you. You did it. It, it took a lot, but you did it. <laughs> and for damn good reason. The best reason in the world. Right over there. <laughs> What, what are you doing? I want you to sit down, relax, put your feet up. I'm going to make you a gourmet lunch. So when did you learn how to cook? Uh, see, now that's what this is for. Ah, uh, mm. you see. Mm. That's sweet, honey, but I'm not hungry. You know, your father is so worried about how this is all going to shake out. But I'm not. And how is that possible? You know how. You're a doctor. We see people exceed our expectations every day. Hard work, patience, faith. Faith can take you further than we ever thought possible. You know, when I got back from Iraq and my hands were really messed up, you gave me a hard time. But you were right there. You've always been there for me. So now it's my turn. You want to know what you can do for me? Name it. You can go back to your own life. Do good work. Be with Randy. I mean, she's been traveling. You need time together. Mom. You ask me what you could do, and that's my answer. All right. I'll go, but don't think I'm not coming back. You better come back because I learned my persistence from you. I love you. I love you too. Thank you.